so far we have concentrated on the uh, color flow and the normal uh, ass assessment of the fetal heart using essentially transverse or near transverse views of the fetal heart. Of course we can do far more views than that and what I'm maneuvering now is to bring in this fetus the spine to the top of the uh, screen here and we're now going to extend into the aortic arch which we see nicely here. I'm just going to freeze the image here as we see the, a the aortic arch to indicate some of the features here. We see that there is the ascending aorta starts fairly centrally within the heart. We can see the head and neck vessels heading up towards the baby's head here and we see this relatively tight aortic arch here with the branch pulmonary artery just sitting underneath in here. This is a normal feature of the true aortic arch. So this is a normal finding of the, uh, uh, relating to the aortic arch. We can confirm anti-grade flow with the use of color flow Doppler and what we're seeing now is the uh, is anti-grade flow around the aortic arch here and also we will appreciate into the head and neck vessels. I'm just going to take the color off to reconfirm my position here. S visualize the head and neck vessels cl clearly as we see here and then we will reapply the color. There we can see a better view of the aortic arch in color with the head and neck flow seen here and it's critically important that we don't apply color until we're actually in the correct position as gauged by 2D. We see there's a nice broad jet of anti-grade color flow uh, through the aortic arch in this particular case. When we look at things again here, I'm going to swing down lower. So I've swung lower from the aortic arch. This fetus also shows us very nicely the view of the inferior vena cava as it enters the right atrium. So the, the inferior vena cava entering the right atrium. Very often seen in a similar plane to the aortic arch just by scanning a little bit more inferiorly. And this is nice to appreciate that the inferior vena cava is patent in some cardiac lesions, particularly more compact uh, cardiac lesions, the inferior vena, vena cava may be interrupted, in which case you won't be able to obtain this view because the, the uh, flow from the lower half of the body will not be coming to the, towards the head via the inferior vena cava. Nicely seen here is the ductal arch, which arises anteriorly and heads straight back through the pulmonary valve to the duct. The duct is see, well seen here and just superior, the head is to the left in this projection, just seen superior to the left pulmonary artery. And as we apply the color, we will see that there is no head and neck vessels to see here. And we can see the anteriorly arising ductal arch from the from the from the from the right ventricle here. Also importantly, when we look at these views, is that when we get well, this allows us to pick short axis views of the atrioventricular valves, and we can see here nicely. When we look at the normal mitral valve here, we can see the two papillary muscles and we can sweep forward into this bileaflet uh, mitral valve. And this is very helpful to be clear in some cases if there might be something, for example, an atrioventricular septal defect. So in an atrioventricular septal defect, this anatomy of the mitral valve is lost and we do not see a bileaflet left atrioventricular valve. 